Raleigh, the state capital of North Carolina, is a booming metropolis that offers a big city feel while staying true to its southern roots. While the City of Roots has been historically a grossly underrated travel destination, it's also quickly becoming a must-visit city. It's steeped in history, but also known for its youthful energy and eclectic community of inhabitants. In this video, we're going to highlight some of the best attractions in Raleigh, North Carolina. Pullen Park If you're searching for a fun attraction for kids in Raleigh, look no further than Pullen Park. Situated on 66 acres of land near North Carolina State University and just a five-minute drive from downtown, Pullen Park is notable for being the first public park in North Carolina and the fifth oldest still operational amusement park in the nation. You can rent a pedal boat, ride a historic carousel, and even hop aboard a miniature locomotive. Your kids will love running free at the playground, and if you work up an appetite, you can have yourself a little picnic. During the summer, Pullen Park is a great spot to catch a community play, engage in your favorite outdoor sport, or go for a leisurely stroll. North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences Featuring four floors of informative and interactive exhibits, this top-tier natural history museum is the largest of its kind in the American Southeast. It's also the most popular attraction in the city. Not only is it free to visit, but it's also home to dozens of captivating and educational exhibits. You can take a self-guided tour through the museum's thought-provoking exhibits. A couple of our favorites include the 10,000-gallon aquarium and the Terror of the South exhibition. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. And stick around for more Raleigh area attractions to see. North Carolina Museum of Art For the traveler trying to keep a tight budget, there's another fantastic free museum to check out. The Raleigh Art Museum hosts more than a dozen gallery spaces displaying art from all over the globe. You can either explore the museum on your own or take a guided tour. They also put on performing arts events and offer engaging, family-friendly workshops throughout the year. When you're done appreciating all the art pieces, be sure to take a walk through the Ann and Jim Goodnight Museum Park. This 164-acre park features several trails that steer guests through serene nature areas that showcase more than a dozen commissioned works of art. James B. Hunt Library Touted as being one of the most technologically advanced libraries in the world, the James B. Hunt Library, which opened its doors in 2013, was erected to reflect NC State University's status as a preeminent technological research university. The library's bold and iconic architecture features an intriguing design that blends glass, steel, and solar fans. Once inside, you'll be blown away by the library's creative and practical use of technology. They make use of technologies like curved displays, touchscreens, and they even have a robot named BookBot that's programmed to retrieve books from their 1.5 million book collection that are housed in the library's state-of-the-art underground storage facility. Capital Area Greenway System If you enjoy outdoor activities like walking and biking, then you'll love Raleigh's Greenway System, which is made up of over 180 miles of trails. There are 28 distinct trails to choose from, so don't forget your bicycle or running shoes. A few of the most popular trails are the 23-mile American Tobacco Trail, which runs alongside an old abandoned railroad, the Art to Heart Trail, which is a six-mile trail that connects the North Carolina Museum of Art to downtown, and the 2.8-mile Lake Lynn Trail. North Carolina Museum of History Across the street from the equally impressive Museum of Natural Sciences is this world-class history museum. Founded in 1902, more than 40,000 visitors per year pass through this full-featured facility. The museum has over 150,000 artifacts on display and covers more than 14,000 years of North Carolina history. General admission is free, but some exhibits require an additional fee. Hemlock Bluffs Nature Preserve if you're looking for a nice, quiet place to escape the heat and enjoy a little shade during the summer months, or if you're searching for the perfect spot to watch the leaves put on their colorful show in the fall, Hemlock Bluffs Nature Preserve has got you covered. Here you'll find a pleasant, well-maintained, and family-friendly space to appreciate the great outdoors. 
This 140-acre park was named after the atypical group of nearly 200 Easter hemlock trees that grow here. The park also features three miles of mulch-covered walking and hiking paths that lead visitors to a handful of scenic overlooks. The park is also home to the 3,700-square-foot Stevens Nature Center, where visitors can learn about the nature and history of the surrounding region. They also put on environmental education programs for visitors of all ages throughout the year, so check their online schedule when planning your visit. J.C. Ralston Arboretum Maintained by North Carolina State University, this gorgeous 10-acre botanical garden and arboretum is home to a wide variety of plants and wildlife. In fact, this nationally renowned garden has more than 6,500 plants from all across the planet. While visitors are free to meander through the grounds of the garden any time of year, from March to October, guests can also take a tour of the Arboretum on Sundays at 2. Marbles Kids Museum Located downtown, this children's museum is packed full of mesmerizing marbles and hands-on educational displays. This fun and engaging museum gives kids a purposeful way to play in an unforgettable way. Let your children experience themed displays tailor-made to build their imagination and ignite their passion for learning. Older guests will enjoy watching a major motion picture at the museum's giant IMAX screen. Yates Mill County Park This 174-acre environmental research center and wildlife refuge has a little bit of something for everyone. There are plenty of attractions here to keep you and your family busy for hours. They have a fully functional grist mill, a 24-acre pond, and miles of scenic trails. And if you tour the park's mill, you'll learn all about its history and corn grinding process. You can also cast out a line from any of its two boardwalks if you're hoping to snag a big one. Raleigh City Market Established in 1914, this historic market is a lovely little mashup of restaurants, bars, boutiques, and shops. Raleigh City Market is the perfect spot to do a little holiday shopping or grab a bite to eat. It's also a thoroughly pleasant place to go for a stroll and explore when the weather permits. If you're a fan of Italian cuisine, we highly recommend Vic's Ristorante Italiano. North Carolina State Capitol Building Built in 1840 out of locally sourced stone, the State Capitol Building is located in the heart of downtown. It's a national historic landmark and one of the finest examples of Greek Revival-style architecture in the country. The building used to house the Office of the Governor, the Supreme Court, and the Chambers of the North Carolina General Assembly, as well as various other official and ceremonial state offices. A stone statue of George Washington dressed in the attire of a Roman general is featured in the building's rotunda. If you're planning on touring the Capitol building, it's recommended to start by walking around the building's exterior and exploring all the monuments and statues on display. Dorothea Dix Park Spanning more than 300 acres, Dorothea Dix Park is the largest park in Raleigh. You'll find impressive views of the city's skyline and wide-open green spaces, rolling meadows, and tree-lined streets. Just five minutes from downtown, the park is a pleasant space to spend an afternoon any time of year. But it also holds several seasonal events and festivals, such as the Field of Sunflowers event each year. Mordecai Historical Park If you follow North Person Street all the way to its end, you'll find Mordecai Historic Park, which was once the biggest plantation in Wake County. In addition to hosting numerous items of fascinating North Carolina history, it's also home of Mordecai Historic House, the oldest residence in Raleigh that still sits in its original foundation. It's also the place where the 17th President of the United States, Andrew Johnson, was born, which is just a quick stroll away from the parking area on Mimosa Street. There you can buy tickets, get info about the park, or grab a souvenir at the gift shop. Contemporary Art Museum CAM is a multimedia contemporary art gallery. While they don't have permanent collections on display, they do have exhibits showcasing the works of local, national, and international artists. It's very popular with Raleigh locals, and every exhibit is distinctly unique and designed to be both informative and transformative. And admission is always free. Frankie's Fun Park 
Okay, this is no Six Flags or Busch Gardens, but Frankie's Fun Park is still worth a visit even though it might not be as impressive as some of its more fleshed out competitors. But they have attractions like go-karts, laser tag, batting cages, mini golf, arcade games, bumper boats, and even a flight simulator. There's no admission to enter the park, but you'll have to pay for each activity. And guests under 18 must be accompanied by either their parent or legal guardian. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss anything you love in Raleigh? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation for more. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.